Yeah, that was disappointing. You know, it's always critical at five minutes before um, half time and five minutes after half time. Yeah, you find a lot of goals scored in that in those moments. And uh, you know, it, it, it started. We gave the ball away cheaply. We didn't track. Uh, we didn't defend it well enough from the cross. And uh, and they uh, pounced on the opportunity. And um, you know, got to be switched on right to the to the, uh, to the end moment in that first half. Because you wouldn't have been that happy with the second goal either. No, again, you know, I felt, again, it was a created from our own um, our own error. And, uh, again, uh, it was a case of um, it could have been prevented. But, um, you know, I think uh, it, it, it's not only that side of it. I mean, the, the flip side is that we had enough chances to win the game as well. You were returned to earth very up in the last three Yeah, it is. You know, um, there was some decent... Uh, parts of the game in there that we played quite well and then there was other times where I thought um, obviously Sydney had the ascendancy as well and uh, you know it sort of uh, went back and forth but um, you know there's still uh, plenty of work for us to uh, to to get better. With O'Neill coming in you sort of took the formation a little bit? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Playing, yeah we, we looked at it from a point of view of tags looking playing in a wide area and you know, it's it has worked at times and it hasn't worked at times, and, and obviously Emil's a, an out and out nine, and so we, we we played tags a little bit more as a half midfielder, hard half striker, and uh, yeah, there was moments there that the the combination looked good, and then obviously there's there's is definitely work in progress that type of combination as well. So um, you know, we'll have a look at that and, and decide what we do with Melbourne. Well, in case you might have learned to play with Emil from the start again, if you know what I mean. I mean, you learned to play one way, and now he comes in. And you have to yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, the, the the issue that we get is from from a playing point of view is that it's such a an easy thing to do to to knock a long ball. You know, because nine times out of ten he wins that ball in the air. Um, but you know, that's if you if you do anything over over and over from a a, a long ball which is not really a um, a safe ball, one in which you're going to keep possession and you're looking just to pick up the second ball, there's always the opportunity of you losing that ball and, and not picking up that ball. So, um, you know, we have to get better in the way in which we utilise a meal uh, from, you know, the ball on the deck because if you keep on uh, overplaying that ball, uh, you know, as, as you saw tonight, it becomes a bit more easier for the opposition to pick the second ball up. With him coming off just on the out there, was it more a case of conditioning? Yeah, or it's, yeah, just conditioning, legs, yeah. In tags too, is it a, everything he touched, everything he touched turned to gold last week, whereas this week his half chances didn't come back, didn't come up for him. Is it a reality check in the sense of him too? Or? Yeah, look, I think.